I am a DM. I have been playing D&D for about almost 10 years now. So, as I play <coughs> the Gold Republic, I want to approach it from a D&D perspective. I want to approach it from a perspective that let's roleplay a character into the most extent that we can roleplay in this universe. So I'll only take quests that the character would naturally take. I would only do stuff that the character would naturally do. Dark and light side, regardless, it, that would not matter. So yeah, we're going to be roleplaying the character to the best ability. I forgot where I was because I was changing audio settings. So for starters, I want to pick the type of character we want to play. I'm just going to spin this wheel and whatever comes up, that's what I'm going to play through. Apply wheel changes and here we go! One hour later. Of course it's going to be Agent. Of course it's going to be Agent. Okay, so let's look at what we're going to play. So we're going to be playing the Sith Empire, and we have two choices right off the bat for advanced classes. We have a sniper and an operative. So the way the game used to work was you started off as just an Imperial agent, and then later down the line you got a choice between operative and sniper. From there, each one of those three splits three thrice again into, into more classes. So let's show off what these are, because I want a bit of an idea of the kind of character I want to be playing based off their class immediately. Let's look at operatives first. Whether ambushing enemies from stealth or using advanced medical technology to keep callings in the fight, operatives will do whatever it takes to advance the agenda of the Empire. Or snipers. Identified as the most elite sharpshooters in the galaxy, snipers use their extensive training to eliminate all sensitive targets and turn the tides of battle in the Empire's favor. So they each split. Operative splits into medicine, concealment, and lethality. And uh, sniper splits into marksman, engineering, verbal. So I think if I'm gonna go for like an agent, someone who's like suit buttoned up, proper, knows what he's doing, we have to do, I think we have to do sniper. It makes the most amount of sense, I think. So let's do a cyborg. So I will be playing a female for this, just because of I don't play a lot of females. And it'll be interesting because there's a romance option I've never seen on this one, so. My activities are authorized by Imperial Intelligence. Interesting. So right off the bat, she sounds very proper. So I want to build that into her character.
my activities are authorized by Imperial Intelligence. Hmm. You want to watch? All right, come on. So in episode zero, before we actually start playing, <laughs> so if you got this far, here, here's your reward. You get to see my little bubba. See? This is Cougar. Cougar. Hey. Dude. Say hi. <laughs> see? He said hi. Generator, it's great. I use it for fantasy names all the time. So let's just click through a few and see if we can get any good ideas. I like this one. Clartal. Is that taken? It's not! 